does feel like meatloaf like just like telling fun stories maybe a little bit these are a lot of big tales so today we are going to check out the meatloaf i do not enjoy eating meatloaf but maybe i'll enjoy the singer actually straight out the gate i know i would do anything for love i love that song and the music video <laughs> People don't make songs like that anymore, you know? However, it struck me as I've been going through my exploration of musical things that I actually don't think I know any other songs by Meatloaf. And then I looked up what his most popular song on YouTube is and this one popped up. So I'm gonna check it out today. First time hearing this song, which is called Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. Is ain't a word? It is in the dictionary. Okay, so ain't is a word. Is it grammatically correct? It is common informal speech of some people, though some would consider it incorrect or bad English. I like ain't. Sometimes you need a word like ain't. I also know Meatloaf from Fight Club, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. He was very good in it. Something about Meatloaf just makes me feel... Aww. His name obviously isn't Meatloaf, though. We'll find that out after we watch the video. Imagine that was his birth name. His birth name is Meatloaf. His last name was Loaf, and his parents were like, well, let's call him Meat. We might as well just run with this. As ever, I make zero euro from these videos as they get copyright claimed. If you would like to keep seeing these videos you can only make it possible by supporting me on any of these things otherwise i'm gonna have to stop doing music reactions and i'm kind of enjoying this journey with you guys if you cannot do that do feed the algorithm monster that is helpful too leave a like leave a comment and subscribe that's totally free i love 80s stuff i love all things 80s i love the love of the 80s i love like the passion in the music i feel like they don't make passionate music anymore and i love it I'm guessing this was the 80s. I think it was. Two out of three ain't bad. Aww. Maybe we can talk all night. But that ain't getting us nowhere. I told you everything I possibly can. There's nothing left inside of me And maybe you can cry all night But that'll never change the way that I feel The snow is really piling up outside I wish you wouldn't make me leave here I poured it I'll tell you after. Well, there's only 
was earlier in his career than I would do anything for love because I would do anything for love like add a kick into it and that did it did it very much reminded me of younger because Lewis Capaldi is still very young but younger Lewis Capaldi maybe I'm wrong maybe that song came first 1977 and I would do anything for love was 1993 so he had hella time to mature as an artist but you could see it you could see like that is one talented man now let me tell you why I was laughing during the video having been the recipient of a couple of songs from a couple of people. I've had some interesting romances, let's say. I keep them very quiet though. I've had a couple of songs and how the recipient receives them is very much depending on where she or he is in their mind at the time of receiving it. A song from a person you're very much in love with or even a person you like, you're like, wow, like this is so beautiful. But a song like that from a person you're just like, she was telling him, I don't love you, according to his lyrics. And therefore, I don't know how the person would have received the song. What is that saying? If a guy you like does something, it's romantic. Whereas if it's a guy you don't like back, it's kind of creepy. Like, pretension. But like, I do feel that two out of three and bad, like the three being like, I will never love you is like quite an important one. No, like you can be like, I want you, I need you, but I will never love you. Probably a lot of people are okay with that. I wouldn't be personally. Ah, I forgot Meatloaf died in 2022. <gasps> of COVID. That's His real name was Marvin Lee Day. Elia Day. Lee Ade. He doesn't look like a Marvin. Who does look like Marvin? Do I have any Marvins in the viewership? That would be fun. And what do you look like if your name is Marvin? And do you think you look like a Marvin? Meatloaf was bestowed on him later. Meatloaf said his father gave him the name almost as soon as they returned from the hospital. He was a big kid from the day he was born and said that one day his father saw him wrapped up in a blanket and pronounced that he looked like a Meatloaf. The name stuck. <gasps> awkward. My nickname when I was a kid was Howard after Howard Hughes because I'm kind of a little bit germaphobic and I always like everything just so and have like since I was a kid just like straightening corners and things. I very much have coached myself out of some of those things but I still do them but people would call me Howard. Well just my family really but it didn't like stick for everyone like they wouldn't have let like other people call me Howard. They'd have been like, why is your little girl called Howard? Although that's quite trendy for people to be called like names of the opposite sex. I know a girl whose name was James and I thought that was a really cool name for a girl. I looked up meatloaf facts and it brought up the food. Meatloaf lost a bet over the meaning of I would do anything for love. One of his biggest hits is also his most confusing thanks to the convoluted lyrics. 
He seemingly says over and over he won't do that without specifying the act he refuses to perform for love. It's actually right there in the song. I'll never lie to you. I'll never forget the way you feel right now. I'll never stop dreaming of you every night. By the time you get to the end of all those, I'd do anything for love. You don't remember what the line is that you won't do. We had a bet of $100 and he said, nobody's going to know what that is. And I'm going, what are you crazy? People aren't that stupid. I lost $100. I kind of always got that. Oh, interesting. Apparently he made up several stories about how he got his stage name like the Joker. How did you get those scars? I wanna know how I got these scars. Ooh, he almost fought Prince Andrew. Fergie wasn't exactly flirting with me, but she was paying attention to me. And I think Andrew got a little, I could be wrong. I'm just reading into this. I think he got a little jealous. Anyway, he tried to push me in the water. He tried to push me in the moat. So he turned around and grabbed him and he goes, you can't touch me, I'm royal. I said, well, you try to push me in the moat, Jack. I don't give a shiz about who you are. You're going in the moat. That's my American just standard voice that I pull out. He gave Charles Manson a hitchhiking ride. Sometime in the late 60s, Meat was driving, that's his first name. Meat was driving down Sunset Boulevard when he picked up Charles Manson, who promised to introduce him to beach boy Dennis Wilson. There was no beach boy there, although it actually was Dennis Wilson's house. Meat later wrote about the drive during which Manson talked about the coming end of the world. The singer didn't know who his passenger was until he saw Manson's face on TV following the Tate LaBianca murders. Well, now that we know Meatloaf, like, made up a couple of stories about how he came to be called Meatloaf, is it possible he was telling a little tall tale? I can imagine a lot of people gave Charles Manson a ride. Also, ride in Ireland is like doing it. Oh my gosh, his father, a former cop and chronic alcoholic who often disappeared on days long binges tried to kill him. His mother, Wilma, had passed away and Orvis, his father, tried stabbing him in a drunken rage in an incident that would cause the teenager to leave home for good. Meat said, I rolled off the bed just as he put that knife right in my mattress. Oh. I fought for my life. Apparently I broke three ribs and his nose and left the house barefoot in a pair of gym shorts and a t-shirt. <gasps> Well, I guess anybody who'd call their kid Meatloaf and let it stick isn't gonna be the greatest parent, huh? He was present for the JFK assassination? Does anybody else feel like Meatloaf like just like telling fun stories maybe a little bit? These are a lot of big tales. Or maybe he was like, maybe he did do all these things. Let's learn more about the song. Oh, two out of three ain't bad is actually supposedly a saying. It's used for comic effect. How was your date? He was tall, handsome, and incredibly boring. Been there, girl. Well, there you go. That's Meatloaf for ya. I don't like the food, but I do like the singer. Well, I like the songs anyway. Thank you so much, guys. That's it for today. See you on the other side. Bye.